Praise be Jesus and Mary. As we draw closer and closer to the celebration of Pentecost, we see a very common theme emerging from the readings in the liturgy, that of unity, something that the Holy Spirit will affect in a very special way at Pentecost. In the priestly prayer of Christ, we saw how our Lord prayed for a very specific type of unity for his church, that the ecclesial communion, the unity of the church, be an image of the communion of the Trinity, the unity of God, that they may be one as we are one, he said. And in today's gospel, we see how our Lord desires to secure visible unity within his church. And how does he do this? By giving the primacy to Peter. In the First Vatican Council, in Pastor Eternus, the church formulated what it has believed since the beginning. It goes like this. The primacy of jurisdiction over the universal church of God was immediately and directly promised to the blessed Peter. And it was upon Simon Peter alone that Jesus, after his resurrection, bestowed the jurisdiction of chief, chief pastor and ruler over all his fold in the words, Feed my lambs, tend my sheep. So when he says, feed my lambs, tend my sheep, it is at that moment where Christ directly and immediately confers on Peter and in his, and his successors the grace of primacy. It's important to note that he gives and confers this directly and immediately because this means that it's a divine institution, which means that it was God's idea, not man's. And this grace of primacy is one of the basic elements in the church, and it's designed to guard and protect its unity. So we see this theme again. So it is Christ through the Holy Spirit that makes his church one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic. And it is Christ through the Holy Spirit that calls each and every one of us to remain in unity, to strive for holiness, to be Catholic, and to be rooted in the apostolic faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.